Hello, y'all on YouTube. This is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today we have a very special review. Impressions of a really cool knife that I got from Tactile Knife Company, the Mariner 2. This is the Bob Terzula design from the original Mariner. It's a little smaller, but it's got the thumb discs, and it's a liner lock, and it's a pretty cool knife. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's take a look at this guy. All right, this is the Tactile Knife Company Mariner 2. Um, 2 in the sense of it's a second iteration of the Mariner, something that they worked with Bob Terzula to create. This particular knife is really, really well made. Um, some people do have a little pro uh, problems with the price. We'll talk about that in a second. But I don't think so. I don't think once you take a look at everything that's involved, um, you know, you, you, you'll get a picture. So the knife name is the Mariner 2. Uh, the manufacturer is Tactile Knife Company. It's USA made here in the United States in Fort Worth, Texas. So, you know, yeehaw, it's a Texas knife, which I love. Um, the designer is Bob Terzula. This is his version 2. This is a Tactile Knife Company and Bob Terzula's kind of collaborative take on the knife. It's a little smaller than the original one. Definitely has some, I think, some really wonderful upgrades to the knife that I think are really, really quite nice. So let's talk about it. First of all, it's titanium scales. Really beautiful titanium scale, titanium clip. Very functional clip that works. It is a mill clip, hidden hardware. It's got beautiful little texturing up there. The little dragon from Bob Terzula, if you're familiar with that. Uh, it is a captive pivot. There's the stop pin right there, but these screws are T8s all the way around with kind of like a, sort of like what you see on Herman or, you know, uh, um, uh, custom Trevor Burger knives, you know, with the screw coming out here and being kind of finished off there. That's really, really nice. Um, beautiful finish on there. It's like a satin sort of finish. I love that. Uh, it's not just bead blasted, but it's it's really nice. It does have a little lanyard pin in there, so you can put a lanyard on there. Uh, that's really cool. It's got thumb discs, and you think, well, thumb discs, you know, I don't know, it's not going to work. Well, I wasn't a big thumb disc fan myself, and I've had a few, like... Uh, Bustin came out with a really cool thumb disc knife that I, I like, but it's a single disc. This is dual disc, so you can see this. There's an upper disc and a lower disc. Now, on this particular one, I just recently installed this. This is the crystal titanium thumb stud uh, uh, disc. Uh, <laughs> sorry, thumb discs. Um, you can replace these and take them out. They have Timascus, they have zirconium, they have Mokutai, they have superconductor. I went with the crystal titanium just because it's different. Uh, I think the other ones are very familiar, and I thought that was kind of cool. And the sun is going to look really, really nice. I don't know if we can get that really to reflect a little bit better. Let's see if we can make it really stand out here. I don't know. Let me try to angle that on there and see if that makes it look a little bit better. Uh, so anyways, I think it looks better in the sun. We'll have to definitely get some pictures in the sun and uh, check that out. So let's do that. All right, so this is the thumb discs work well with the two. Very comfortable, easy to get your finger and hands in there, easy for action. That works really well. I like that a lot. Uh, I have no issues with any of that. The, the action is super crazy smooth. It is an inset liner lock. It's a unique inset liner lock. The lockup is a good 20-30% there. No blade play, no pivot flash anywhere. You can see that. It does have a nice detent ready for the little clickety-click. Nice clickety-click. That's a really crisp one. All right, so you got a sheep's foot blade right here, really nice. Kind of comes out with a nice little sort of reverse tanto sheep's foot modified, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. Right, uh, but that thumb disc works really, really nice. Now, it's a little bit in the cutting path for sure, but it's it's different, it's unique. I like the thumb disc. They work really well left and right hand. To me, it's just a really comfortable, comfortable little thing. Um, you know, th these can be uh, replaced, like I said, with different ones. I had a regular one in there. I like that crystal tie. The blade is nice. Uh, flat grind comes to pretty thin blade, so it's pretty nice, sharp, nice, edgy there. I think all that's really good. When you drop that, it, the action's really great, really smooth. I did put skips in this, and skips made it so much nicer. It is MagnaCut, and you, if you know anything about CPM MagnaCut, uh, uh, Tactile Knife Company, they do a Rockwell hardness of 6364, so it is really excellently heat treated. That does cost more to get that nice heat treat, and it's definitely worth it as far as I'm concerned. The clip is outstanding. Beautiful milling on the inside, great weight relief. Um, this inset liner lock is not actually screwed into the, the, the scale. Ironically, there's a little part back here where it has a little ledge and it clips in and then there's two pins that actually hold a part of this backspacer together and goes on top of that and that actually retains the, uh, the inset liner lock. And right over here, 
Uh, it's right in here somewhere is where it, it slips under. And it, it's just really quite brilliant. It really is quite brilliant. Um, it's done so well. It's very easy and, and, and great to handle and assemble and clean. Just really fantastic little knife. I love, I love, love, love this knife. Action is beautiful. Works wonderfully. I do get a little bonus flick. You can get your finger down here like this and do a little middle finger reverse flick, which, you know, do you need to? No, you don't, but you can. And that's nice. And being that's inset liner lock, guess what? I can do it left-handed as well. So that's a bonus flick that I wasn't expecting. But that thumb disc is like, if you're going to make a thumb disc, this is like the most perfect way to do it. And the placement is outstanding. Uh, Tactile Knife Company uh, really did Bob Terzula a great honor in how they executed this. I think it's just phenomenal. All right, so I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the knife. I'm a fan of the size and everything about it. So titanium scales, you can choke up. Plenty of room. Like I said, we talked about that earlier. Nice rounded clip. It's easy to get to. Comfortable. There's no hot spots. There's no anywhere. There's no sharp edges anywhere. I like that. It's really just comfortable. Hard use all day knife. He said he made it for sailors and mariners. So, you know, this is, this. I can see that. I can see this knife being very useful for that. The clip is nice. It works really, really well. Um, all right, so that's the material. That's the opening and closing. Uh, that liner is a nice cutaway. It's got some, like, jimping on top. Really comfortable. Easy to get to. It's not tiring. It's not feeling like you're trying to squeeze your finger in and get in there. It's so, so uncomfortable, which to me is sometimes when you have limited access there, that can be a real bummer, right? You can feel like you're really trying to get a big old meaty finger in there. No. Easy access for me. And what I love, too, is I can drop it, catch it right there. You see that? It catches right there. I'm not having the guillotine of the blade hitting my, my nail. Uh, it's hitting the top of the nail, so I'm catching it. So it's that's nice. No guillotine on the nail. So I really, really, really do like that a lot. So that's cool. That's really nice. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, in dig I'm digging how this whole blade works. It's very comfortable in the hand. It's really comfortable as far as use and, 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 and just making this just really, really a, a fantastic sort of little tool. Uh, all right, so that's that's the opening, closing, the coating, the finishes. Everything is really nice. Let's, let's go ahead and do some measurements real quick. So I think this is about 4 to 4.2 ounces. Maybe 4.2 if I, I don't know, 3.6, not even close. But not bad, 3.6 ounces, which is not bad at all. If it, it feels heavy and robust, but not, you know, not over, overly heavy. The, the center, of, um, center of the blade is about right back, back there, so you feel more balanced back here but you can pull it up and it does get a little back heavy but you know this is one of those blades that you really you know you're trying to cut and do things uh, on a boat and cut things like that so that's it's i don't know it's nice it's nice i don't know i'm not a mariner i don't know i would imagine that this is the kind of knife you'd want <laughs> so you know if i'm not trying to pretend i'm a mariner just so to be honest with you guys but to me it looks cool uh all right so the weight three uh uh, we had the 3.2, golly, was it 3.2 ounces? Now I forgot. We just talked about it. I got all distracted by that. 3.6 ounces. So it's 3.6 ounces. Yeah. So 3.6 ounces. Let's go ahead and do the measurement. 3.6 ounces. See what does the length translate to? So we're right over seven. So we're seven and a quarter of an inch. The grip area that you have is about three and three quarters. If you go back over, you can choke up here. So you get three and three quarters. So you can go past to maybe about four inches. The overall blade length from the tip is exactly three inches. Cutting length is three and seven eighths of an inch. So not bad, under three inches. I mean, I don't know if it falls in line with the three inch rule in some states. So just keep that in mind. Let's look at the blade stock thickness that we're dealing with here. We are dealing with a pretty thin blade, nine, 99 thousandths of an inch. So it's just under, it's under 0.1 inches. So that's pretty cool. It's less than a tenth of an inch. So it's a pretty thin blade. It's going to be a super slicer. It's going to slice really well. I think you're going to really enjoy that part. So that's going to be pretty phenomenal as far as that's concerned. So the category, what does this run into? So, all right. So the cost of the Mariner, the knife category that's in is going to be Definitely the higher end. This is $429. And then if you get the superconductor, that's another, or not superconductor, sorry. You get the crystal titanium. That's another $40 that you can add to it. Uh, I think the superconductor is 60. I think the zirconium is 40, or no, the zirconium is 30. The Timascus is 40, and the Mokume is 40. So those are the different versions that you can get on this. Uh, so it's definitely going to be, at least this is the time of the video, that's their cost. 
uh, it's definitely a higher uh, higher end knife and it's it's definitely in the mid range right there uh, between three and six hundred dollars so i would say that um, uh, 429 is right in the middle uh, definitely not a cheap knife, but definitely not um, could be much more expensive like the Archer 600 bucks, which is a great knife too, by the way. So there you go. Um, do really, really enjoy this knife as far as that's concerned. Now, is it EDC hard use and collection piece? Absolutely could be a collection piece. It's a Bob Terzula design. Sure, why not? His first one became sort of a kind of a, a legacy, kind of a, that was a collector, le collector's piece as well. I would say this is going to fall in, in line with that, right? Um, definitely would be something worth collecting. But it's also, for me, everything I collect, I carry and I use, and this could be hard use. So like my McNeese Mac 2 3.5, I actually hard use that one. I actually use the heck out of that knife, and I enjoy using the heck out of that knife. That knife just feels right being used, just like this one does. It feels like I could use this one as well. So um, I don't have a problem with my tactile knife stuff using it because I felt like it's meant to be used and the way they make it it's just good quality stuff so there you go ergos and feel overall handle open and close textures jimping clip lanyard okay so if you like the aesthetic of this that's the first thing if you don't like the way this looks it's not for you guess what there's a lot of knives out there you're not going to like and people love and there's a lot of knives that you probably love that a lot of people don't love and that's okay. That's why there's different designs. So if you don't like the way this looks, not everybody here needs to know you don't like the way it looks. Not everybody needs to know it's ugly. You know, that's the, the person who has to announce that's ugly with no really beneficial information. It's a wasted type. You know what? It really is wasted typing. And I say that with all due respect because I appreciate every one of you guys. But sometimes I get some of the weirdest comments from people. It's like, that's an ugly knife. It's an ugly knife. It's like, like you're really enjoying typing and seeing your words typed up on the comments. And it makes you feel extra special. And guess what? I like to hear your comments, but I want to know why you don't like it. What do you like more? What's the aesthetic that could make this a prettier knife? Bring that up, because then someone could look at that and go, oh, I never thought of that. That's a cool thing. Maybe if we did this with the knife, you know, that's fine. That's the whole idea of the knife community. We talk about knives. We enjoy knives, what we like, what we don't like. I mean, heck, there's some crazy designs I've seen out there that I did not care for. But as I got to handle them and people started playing around with them and, and changed them a little bit, they were pretty darn cool. And I was like, OK, OK, I hadn't thought of that. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with trying some of those things out like that. I think those would be really, really kind of neat things to possibly experiment with, right? So, I mean, what, 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 what's a new iteration? What's a, maybe a take of, like, Bob Terzola could have an influence on you, but where could you take this to somewhere else, right? That, to me, that's cool. That's, in, that's, that's, that's making the knife even better or taking a design and standing on the shoulders of great men, and then other great men standing on your shoulders because, you know, ultimately we're all where we are because we all st stood on the shoulders of some other great men or great people behind us. And so that's what I feel like. Bob Terzola started some something here. And why not stand on his great shoulders to, to bring this knife community, knife design even more forward? So that's how I look at it. Um, you cannot like it. I mean, you can you have the absolute freedom to not like it. I totally respect your opinion not to like it. And it is absolutely, you're right. You know, buy what you love and love what you buy. But man, this community, we're here about encouraging one another, encouraging that community. And if you have some insight why it doesn't work for you, that is helpful to other people. That could be that could help them maybe make the right decision. Or you could say, you know, I have this type of hand shape or blah, blah, blah. And this work, works really great when I, you know, you're like, oh, I didn't think about that. That's really cool, right? Like spider coats. I used to be anti spider co. Straight up, I thought they were butt ugly. They were just hug, uh, ugly, ugly, ugly. And then I handled one and I was like, oh, oh, okay, I get it. And then I handle it more and I'm like, I, I kind of like this. Now, when you see the function and how it works, it, there's a beauty to it. And you start to appreciate that. And that makes something even more, I don't know, beautiful because of what, what it does. Just like this knife. When I saw it at first, I was like, that's kind of interesting, but it looks kind of cool. I got my hands on it. And I'll tell you, my first experience was I was at Blade Show Atlanta and Michael, the president of Tactile Knife Company, he said, hey, what do you think of this? And he pulled this out. It was their prototype. And I was like, oh, and I put it in hand and I was like, that's cool. And then I flipped it with the with the discs and I was like, 
Oh, I not a disc fan, but I really like those discs. That was my first instant reaction. It's like, dang. And uh, yeah, had I not had that experience, I don't know. You know, I might have been like, oh, it's an ugly knife. I don't like it. You know, but I got a chance to handle it. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. So that's where I'm from. That's where I share this from. And I, and I don't know if it's helpful to you. Um, let me know. Uh, let me know what you think. What your experience, your thoughts. I'd love to hear why right? That's cool. All right. Hey, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, or informative, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? And if you've already hit that like button, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel. Allows the channel produce more content, do more things, ultimately do more things for you guys. So thank you to everyone out there who watches the videos, who comments, who, who enjoys the live stream, who's part of the community. I appreciate you so, so very much. Thank you. And if you haven't already hit that notification button down below so you can be notified of future content like this video and a big shout out thank you to all my channel members appreciate you guys so much you helped me to do things way sooner than i ever thought i'd be able to do on this channel and i appreciate you for that your support means a lot and uh you know i try to do two special things for all my channel members is one i try to do a once a month well i do a once a month members exclusive giveaway usually it's a nicer knife because you guys have been so generous with the memberships i want to be generous back and I want to show my appreciation for that. So that's usually a very nice knife. Secondly, I also do brand new channel members. Every brand new channel member, I will mail a sticker, an exclusive channel member sticker. So uh, not exclusive, but a channel member sticker and a little note saying thank you. So if, you, brand new, if you're a brand new channel member, email, my, email me with your name and address so I can mail you a little channel sticker and a thank you note. Secondly, if you were a channel member all this time, you never asked for a channel member sticker and you're a member right now, or if you were a channel member before and you became a channel member again, and now you're a member right now, and you never asked for a channel member sticker, please email me as well if you'd like a sticker. I'd love to mail you one as well. So thank you. Thank you to everyone out there. I sure appreciate you. And then also, if you haven't already, maybe check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.